Colin from a uh, Stephen from Washington State. Yes. Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. Hey, I wanted to talk about guns. Um, oh. I'm not a gun person, but this weekend I went to a gun show, <laughs> and it was a depressing cesspool of uh, ignorance and hate. Wow, and, uh, that does sound depressing. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was pretty awesome. Uh, so this gun show was at a fairground in a, a neighborhood that's sort of notorious for uh, gang violence, and there's lots of shootings and, and these types of problems. But uh, basically, you could buy any kind of gun you wanted for cash, as long as you had a driver's license. Um, probably a lot of the transactions could happen without a driver's license. Right. And uh, you, you could also buy... Uh, all kinds of Nazi memorabilia. Um, the John Birch Society was there. Um, some pretty awesome bumper stickers, like "All I Need to Know About Islam I Learned on 9/11." <laughs> oh, and uh, I've actually seen just, that one out. Yeah, it, it's just amazing to me with a picture of the twin towers on fire. Uh, that's part of the bumper sticker. Uh, it's amazing to me that these are the people that are uh, dictating or directing the national conversation on guns. Uh, and the, the argument seems to be that, you know, in the conversations I've had with conservative friends, uh, is that you'll just end up regulating law abiders and uh, you won't stop all violence. But, I mean, it, imagine if every law we had was right. had to meet that criteria. There would be no law. I mean, Absolutely. Well, these laws against... These laws against murder won't stop every murder, so I guess we should just kind of let it be legal. Yeah, no, that's absurd. Uh, There's no single law in the country that doesn't just regulate law-abiding citizens, or at least um, in terms of uh, their behavior. It's just absurd. It's just an absurd, uh, by definition, of course, only law-abiding citizens are going to follow the law. I mean, that's the definition of it. Uh, it's, yes, absurd. I mean, I will say this, that I know, like, you know, uh, my neighbors went to a gun show um, a while back up in uh, uh, Albany, I think it was, and they said it was mostly like, you know, uh, muskets and stuff like that, like literally uh, antiques. And that's all well and good. I mean, I, you know, if, uh, if you're selling something that is like a single-load uh, lead uh, ball, uh, where you gotta, if uh -huh. it's a musket, I'm willing to say, okay, you know what? You don't need to have a full background check to own a single load musket, uh, in those circumstances. It's, I mean, uh, but it's really shocking. It, well, it's really shocking to me just months after Newtown to go to a place where there's entire tables of AR 15s and high capacity magazines and guns being sold for cash. Uh, to literally anyone who wants them. And this is being done totally legitimately out in the open. Uh, you know, the person selling the gun, basically, as long as they ask for the driver's license, is not going to face any repercussions. The person can store the gun however they want. Yeah, uh, it's ridiculous. You know, it's just insane. I would, I would just encourage people, your listeners, if, if there is a gun show, you know, around to go, uh, even if you're like me, you're not a gun person, just to... I don't know. To me, it it's you know really sparked my uh, not my interest, but my the urgency, I guess, of the 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 debate and seeing you know exactly what's happening up front because I heard you know about the gun show loophole and, and everything, but it wasn't until well, it's good advice, you know, I Stephen. I pre listen. I appreciate yeah. the call. Got to jump. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, Good point. Go out and check it. Uh, check it out your, yourself, ladies and gentlemen.